this is a normal run that we have going today. So let's go ahead and see what our we, let's go ahead and see what the what the normal run has in store for us. Rip, really? You're ripping on me quitting? <laughs> okay, so bird dodges are in full effect. I mean, that was a that was a good that was a good warm up run. I beat the I beat the final boss, so. All I need to do is get another gun bots drop, and then I'm pretty much set to go. And here we go, send some gun bots waves my way. Flamethrower is actually super duper nice. So this is gonna be this is gonna be a bit of a, a, a silly a silly mode, but flamethrower is probably one of my favorite weapons in the game, especially if I can get this sob upgraded. I'd guess that weird like railroad track in the background is a uh, uh what was it? A launching track from the space station. I guess that makes sense. I don't know. But it's fucking they're already in space, so what do they need like a, a train to go down? I guess it would work. Then that shit <laughs> that that, sp that spaceship in the very beginning didn't get very far then if it's like still like on the rails from the from, from like the space station. It's like, ah oh, crap, we got killed like 14 minutes away from home. At least my wife will know what happened to me. All she has to do is look out a window. That's a little bit more depressing. On the other hand, you know what isn't depressing? Kicking that first boss's ass very, very easily. Let's see what's going on here on our upgrade front. Collision and vulnerability, more combo. Uh, since this is indeed a competition, and flamethrower is a reasonable weapon, I'm gonna go with more combo per wave, cause why the fuck not? You know, this is the score race. Let's fucking amp it up a little bit. Let's uh, let's get some combo going. And this is going to be. And I mean, all those other ones were terrible. So I really don't feel bad about that at all. Uh, need to prioritize taking health upgrades. I vastly underestimated how amazing those things are. Like an extra two health turns a uh, turns a close fight into like a into a win. And that cannot be overstated for how amazing that is when you get one shot. So it's like if you, if if you would have died had uh, because you had like just like you know what I'm trying to say. So if you get one shot, having a little bit of extra health goes a long way towards making it so that you actually like get onto the leaderboard as opposed to just being a little chump fest. Hey there, Matt. You continue to dox. You continue to dox me. You continue to dox me, and it's just you just act like there's nothing wrong about that. Um, interesting. I don't really care much for the lightsaber, so I'm not gonna really bother with it. I, I like my weapons uh, very particularly rangy in this game, so that's gonna be how this goes. But yes, uh, for people who don't know, that is the other intern of my team. Matt, why don't you tell everybody about how uh, you had to give a speech today about how much you love everybody else in the team and how you're just a very sensitive soul and you, you, you've you been hiding like your sensitivity for so long that you just forgot what it was like to feel and then this lunch, like, it just unlocked a new, like, caring side of you that no one had ever really seen before. Like, you can tell us all about, all about how you got to spill your feelings and, and confess, like, your, 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 your deep and profound love for everybody on the team. Nah, it was pretty much him just being like, fuck, I can't talk to people. What is this? I hate public speaking. Which I guess I can understand. Anyway, um... Turn computer and toss Costco. Okay, cool. Good job. Good job. How did you manage to keep your lunch down while doing that? <laughs> Good job, uh, Dr. Clayton. Okay, collision and vulnerability. Plus 20% score. I guess I will take collision and vulnerability. There we go. There we go. Excuse me, I didn't make you go first, Matt. That was, uh... That was definitely... That was definitely your mentor who was like, No, 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 you have to go first. But yeah. It was, uh... So, so yeah, lost my train of thought. Back to the back to the run instead of circle jerking in that chat. We get a double weapon drop here, and it is a... Ultra laser and a sword, neither of which are really that enticing. I'll take the ultra laser over the blaster, but I mean that seems that seems like a good uh, a, a good trade off. But I'm still gonna stick with the flame thrower, flame thrower for most of my bread and butter damage here. Bread and butter. I guess you could probably make some sort of weird circle jerky thing about me there. Fortunately, I just took damage. Hmm. That's not so good. 
Uh, this still feels fine. It's because I got slowed down while using the Ultra Laser. At least I'm not... At least I haven't... I don't know what causes you to lose your combo. I uh, like... It just kind of... Just kind of... Sometimes it's there, sometimes it's not. I think it's if you... Just... Dis destroy everything or something. I don't actually know what causes it. Like, how the, how the score system really works in this game that well. But suffice it to say... I got a 22 combo going, which, I don't know, is that a little? Is that a lot? Doesn't seem like it's very much at all. Let's go ahead and just... You, yeah, okay, so since I like the rangy weapons, as I was saying earlier, I might as well put them to use, huh? So let's just go ahead and actually do that. Okay, kill the things that are actually dangerous, switch over to the energy weapon to break through the shields. That one's still alive for whatever reason. And the top, this one at the top is now also dead. So X28, there we go, there we go. All right, so this will be incredibly easy with my current, like, setup. Like, this is going to be perhaps, like, it, like, because both of my weapons, no matter which one I use, is go are, are, like, extremely capable of killing all those rockets here. <coughs> Let's switch over to Ultra Laser, just because I think it's going to do more damage per second than the Flamethrower is. And back up here. My DPS is not really particularly amazing, but it's not... Okay, well, let's just chill out here for a second. Little icons, not taking damage adds 1x, complete a mission adds 2x, and I think another 2x if you finish early. How do you lose combo then? I don't understand uh, how that can happen. Oh, crap. Uh, I cannot use Ultra Laser uh, when he's doing this wave. So we'll switch over to Flamethrower. I can't use the Ultra Laser because I'm too slow to dodge his attack, so I need to switch to Flamethrower as that doesn't impact my move speed. Unlike the Ultra Laser, which while I'm firing slows me down pretty considerably. DPS in the Ultra Laser is not nearly as good as I would like. I think that laser weapons were probably a little bit nerfed with regards to big ships. So, I mean, okay, he's, he's looking a little bit worse for the wear. We got him down, we got him down to second to last skull. So I'm going to hit him with a laser beam and then swoop under here. I can, I can safely go through the top passage like so. And I'm going to chill out here for a second. I'm going to chill out here for a second. There we go. There we go. Oh, uh, whoop. I need to switch back to the flamethrower like I did last time. He's down to his second to last skull, which is uh, good. But still, could use a little bit of extra extra damage you use. Switch over to, switching over to Ultra Laser to clean up the rockets and get some reasonable DPS. Switching to flamethrower to kill the rockets, which are getting a little bit too eager beaver-y and trying to kill me. So finishing the wave early is not in the cards at this point, as this has gone on particularly long. But it's fine, it's fine, we got through all this. And what do I get going for me here? Bot drop rate, faster weapon swap, cargo frequency, break shields. I'm gonna go with the general cargo frequency here. Actually, I'm gonna bank on bots. That's what's gonna happen. <sighs> Pop the neck real quick. Let's take a sip of Mountain Dew to increase my dodging abilities, and right back into the into the fray I go. So here's a nasty, nasty situation to be in: uh, laser rain without any laser immunity. I will deal, but I certainly won't be happy. Like, oh crap! Oh god! Oh god! Oh god! Come on! Okay, good. The laser, the laser rain is over. I only got hit once, so that's fine. But I still would have preferred to knock out and hit it all. And I hope that that thing comes down quick and drops some bots. It drops a bullet weapon, super gun, which last time I took this actually just kind of made everything a hell of a lot worse. Because I have the flamethrower, I'm going to opt not to take it as I have much better crowd control abilities than I would have uh, with the super gun. Even though the super gun used to be probably one of my favorite weapons in the game. They nerfed it pretty bad in the latest patch, so we're just going to let it be for now. And I'm going to just assume that this is the right decision to make. So there's going to be two more weapon drops on this wave, and that's plenty of time for that bot pickup, the uh, uh, bot upgrade to kick into effect, assuming that it ever decides to actually do so. But it's going to get plenty of chances. It's going to get plenty of chances. Okay, uh... That's shockwave guys are pretty meaningless when I can when I can soak up all the people that are actually dangerous. Like if my flamethrower just gets through their shockwaves and kills all the things behind them that are shooting, then they really can't do anything to me. This is a dodge wave. Well, we're not going to be doing that at all. 
Oh, oh, I see. So dodging doesn't mean you can't kill things. It just means that you, you if you get if you don't get hurt, then you get the then you get extra combo. Pretty sure that's how this works anyway. Pretty sure. Yep. Okay. So it, since I didn't get hit, I didn't need to uh, like I, I got extra combo and the mission was considered complete. Very nice. Okay. It's not like uh, it's not what I originally thought with dodge, where it was like you had to get through without killing anything. It just means you have to get through without getting hurt. Okay. So no bots on on this guy so I'm, have, I'm gonna have to actually work a little bit so this is a relative serious time i have good weapons but it's not it's not super op like it is with the with the uh with gun bots or rocket bots where i can just like pretty much totally easy mode this this boss instead i have to actually somewhat think so there's going to be no reading of chat for the next couple of seconds here. Let's use the ultra laser. Nope, never mind. Uh, and just dodge my way through all that. Okay, switching to flamethrower now, and this is like super duper easy mode at this point. Okay, go down. Ooh, okay, getting that close to him to hit him with the flamethrower, though it does more damage, is incredibly risky. So I'm going to use the ultra laser uh, during the during this cycle. No, okay, never mind. He switched to the other cycle. Let's just uh, get through this nice and safe and sound here. Because this is the daily run. This is the great score war at this point. Although I did also beat the game tonight, so there is that. Switching to the ultra laser to get some extra damage while I still can. That is such a risky strategy. I can't believe I employed that two times in a row, knowing how stupid of a move that was. Okay, go down. Let the ultra laser get charged up again. And, oh man, he's switched back to this cycle. So... Slow fight. This is a very slow fight. This is a three cycle fight at this point, so not really very good at all. But then again, I've gotten pretty bad RNG on his, uh, what am I thinking? What a, I need to be, be in the right. That's the easiest way to dodge this attack. Um, I, I've gotten pretty bad RNG because his little laser waves, he has been doing incredibly short versions of them and not doing a whole lot of attacks. The, the more laser attacks that he does, the more damage I can do to him. And unfortunately, every single laser wave, I think except for the first one, he's done a, a one cycle on me. So that's not very great. But I can, I'll just deal with it. Okay, switch to the ultra laser, what am I thinking? And super duper easy mode dodges. Okay, let's hope for, let's hope for a lot of laser attacks here. He's down to red phase, so we're getting pretty close. And okay, good. A second, a second laser attack. So this will probably be enough damage to put him into the second, to his last phase here. And come on, yep. Okay, he's down to his last phase. And this is like super duper easy mode phase. Let's get in close and flamethrower him while the ultra laser charges up. And he's down to his last skull. So flamethrowers. Flamethrower is a very noisy weapon, unfortunately, and I mean visually, visually very noisy. So it's sort of hard to dodge while using it. And if I die here, uh... Ouch. So, uh, Wander wins the daily. 